this time in DayZ, I embark on a journey to build the most overpowered base I could possibly come up with and have it designed in such a way that it would be impossible to online raid. And although it might not look like much from the outside right now, don't let that fool you. Because I had designed this base in such a way that it could compete with any of the other big clan bases I would later encounter on this server. With tight hallways, creative defense points and even a secret escape just in case, this base was like a fortress. And best of all, it sat on the water. But with enemies being made, and a base I really wanted to test out, it was only a matter of time before I had a target on my back and our base would be put to the ultimate test. Sit back, let yourself relax, and let me show you this insane story which all started like any other on the coast. Oh, it's been so long since I've played DayZ. It had in fact almost been three weeks at this point since I had played DayZ and I was going to be thrown right into the deep end. Okay. There was absolutely nothing I could do against these guys, but I knew with the shots they had fired, there had to be some sort of scraps lying around for me. Oh. Another dead body with a dead chicken on it. Let's bring Heather with us. With the few scraps that I had found, along with my new pet chicken, who was definitely alive by the way, I headed off to Zelenogorsk, in hopes of finding an actual gun that I could use. A body right here, the shotgun, and an Uzi. Oh, what gun's that? <gasps> an SVU. I had finally found what I was looking for, but I wasn't done yet. Zelenogorsk proved much more efficient than I originally thought it was going to be. Oh, an R size, holy shit. With what I considered myself to be very geared at this stage, I set my sights on Green Mountain Trader. But before I could get there, I got a little distracted. There's guys in here. With more than one set of footsteps above me, I had to be extremely careful. I had too much gear at this point, and I wasn't willing to lose it. Oh, there. It's two of them. Is that a grenade? I had the range advantage with my SVU at this point, so I sat patiently waiting to see if I could make a play. Oh, my gun just jammed. Fuck! <laughs> Run! They now knew my position and my gun had jammed, so I headed off towards the trader in hopes of selling everything I had in order to get the materials to get my very first base down. There's a guy there. Hello! Hello, Survivor 4? <laughs> just going to the safe zone. Yeah, man, same here. I was just stopping by here to get some uh, uh, some hunting gear, you know. Yep. Ah, see you around. Alright, man. An interesting individual. Okay. We'll go up here and go to the trader. With our new friend. 
and uh, sell all this stuff and see if we can buy anything nice. Okay, Green Mountain. She looking beautiful in the rain. This is a pretty cool trader. With me now safe and sound within the trader, I started selling everything I had collected so far and used that money to buy everything I would need to build a starter base. Once I had acquired everything I needed, I took this opportunity of being safe inside the safe zone to cut down all the wood I would need to in order to make the kits required to put down my very first base. Some of you might find this a scared tactic, but remember, I was solo at this point and if I lost all this stuff, that would be the end. But I wouldn't be solo for much longer. You see, right now we were here in Green Mountain Trader, but I needed to make it all the way over to Altar to meet my teammate Hawk. Oh, got me. Killed him. Oh my god, he's loaded, he's loaded, he's loaded. I'm dipping. Yeah, I'm over here on your left a little bit. It's right here. Hello. Oh. Got a vest and stuff here for you if you want it. With my duo partner now with me, we set off for our base location. It wasn't far, and it would be perfect for this base design. Well, this is going to be our new home, eventually. This leg. We can build something cool on this, I think. You see, I was messing around on Daisy a few days prior to recording this video, and I discovered that you cannot plant C4 whenever you're swimming in water. This was a huge discovery for me, because it meant we could create a base with multiple exits, but only one way in. With that information in mind, we chose the pier on this lake as our starter base location. That would be the main way into our base, and it would allow us to build up, out, and down in order to create multiple exits into the water. We just had to make sure our building priv covered enough so that it was within a swimming zone. the flag all the way. And I think we can claim it. Nah, I'd remember. Alright, so now I can press F. Findy kit. Foundation kit. Foundation. Hmm. Let's get a one by one to start, I guess. That looks about the middle to me. Building this base really wasn't that difficult, and looking back on it, my daisy experiences really never go this smoothly. I had got a base down, had a few kills, and I hadn't even died yet. With the final nail in the coffin, we had secured ourselves a nice little one by one. This wouldn't be much for now, but it would soon expand into one of the most overpowered bases in Daisy. Nice. Oh wow! Oh, hot! Find more storage. Nice. Well, the plan was simple today. Make as much money as possible and get as many nails as possible. Okay, well, we're not raided. She left a note for Brilliant. Brilliant! I started off by heading to the Northwest Airfield to see if I could get a crap ton of guns. What the fuck? Why 
nicer guy in here. After around 20 minutes of looting, I had a full inventory, and I was heading to the clan trader to sell it all when I got a little distracted. Why is this guy just running through an open field straight towards me and not reacting? Oh my god, this guy's scared. Oh my god, this guy's so- <gasps> Oh my god, what the hell? I have to dip. Back to base. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, holy crap. I'm gonna sell some stuff. 65k in my bank again. After a very successful run, I returned to base to be greeted with Hawk, who had now logged in. Oh, cut down trees here. How are they building right now? I think they might be. Guy in here. Loads of guys, loads of guys. Oh, I see him, I see him, I see him. Two dead, two dead, two dead. Got one, got one. Okay, there's three dead then. Pushing in, I'm in. Where did, you, ki where did you kill one? This guy. No, I, I thought I killed him. There's one more. There was three. Oh. I killed him. Yeah, he's dead, he's dead. Nice. Oh, wait, Good job, Hawk. You let him. Good thing I took his guns off. Oh, yes, they had a stack of needles. This was exactly what we needed. More base building items to put towards building our main base, and also more items to sell so that we could buy even more needles. Oh, he had a 338. Alright, let's dip, because those lads are close. Yeah, yeah, they're getting closer. Oh, shoot, there's. Oh my god, blood. there's a lot in that tent! Oh, we would soon return to base, full inventory once again, and depot everything, building up our stashes so that we could do one huge run. But, the PvP wasn't over quite yet. Guy in front. Where? I've oh, hit him I twice, him. He's, I've hit him twice. Oh, I see him. He's hit again. He's down. I hope he's full dead. Here, I'll, you loot, I'll Ooh, very geared. Level you 3 helmet again. and shit. SA58 suppressed with drum mag. 338 rifle. A hugely successful day so far meant that we were edging closer and closer to building our main base. Although our little 1x1 one one was such a tiny segment of this leg right now, you already have had a glimpse of what this base might look like in the future. We just needed to get a little more gear so that we could sell it all and buy all the nails we would need. After all, we were going to need over 4,000 nails in order to build this base. So, we had our mind set on one objective. Get as much money as possible and see if we could complete this base today. Push those shots. We were just there. What the heck? Let's go. Okay. Whoa. That's the church. That's in town. Somewhere. Oh, there he is right in front Where? of us. Right in front of us across the other side of the street. He was running right to left. Oh, yeah, I got him. Yeah, yeah, he's just. He's at this barn. Oh. He's just shot someone. Oh. There he's a Dead. One dead. Killed another. Close. There's a guy close, close. Oh, snap. That was behind us. That was behind, yeah. Uh, up on our right, up on our right, Gilly. Where is he? Let's find that bush over there. Hit nice. once. Him. 
Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, nice. That, I don't know why I did that, though. No, not until we clear this other guy. Oh! Greenhouse! Am I blind? Dead, dead, dead. You killed him. <laughs> Am I blind? <laughs> Alright, that's another dead. This guy had 3 3 and a PKM. Holy shit. What a fight. Holy shit. God, it's just got so much stuff. Just gotta get out of here alive now. We're back. Up. I'm back at the base. Our little lake house is coming along. After an absolutely huge fight in a nearby town, we've returned back to our little one by one. We had our minds set on building our base now and setting it into the most overpowered base that it would soon become. We just had to go to the trader one time, sell everything and get all the cash so that we could buy all the nails we would need. All right. right, I got another 35k. One to 160k, that's 16 boxes of nails. Now most of you are probably wondering why we just didn't buy the nails there. Well, there was a good explanation to that. You see, there was a bandit camp and if we bought the nails there, they were half price. Alright, I'm pushing in. Pushing up. Okay, I got 16 boxes, let's go. Oh my god. This was another massively successful run, and although it was only half the nails we actually needed to complete the base, it would still allow us to complete the exterior shell. So when we eventually got back to base, we would be able to start that. But before we got there, we got a little distracted by another base. Oh, there's a base here, Hawk. Oh! Oh, Hawk! No way! Look! There's a locked tent. Oh, look, there's a crate. Oh, we need to pick up this container. Yeah, yeah, we can pick up all this. We knew there was huge potential here to get some free loot. So we quickly ran back to base to depot all the nails before making our return. But this time we weren't alone. A uh, oh, door just swung open. Yeah, 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 yeah. He just went in. Holy shit. He's just, he's just went. I have a nade. I have a nade. If you run up, I'll pin the nade. If you want to run up and open it, and I'll have it ready to throw. Go! Oh, no, oh shit! The one? Grenade! Grenade! Ah! Oh. On the right side. Nice, nice, good one. I'm, I'm pre-firing. I think there is another one in here. I, I hear someone. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, there is another one. There is another one. I hear someone in there. There's definitely another one. He's just opened something. Yeah, he's, he's in there. He's opening shit. Ooh, we hit you. Oh, I hit him! Yeah, I'm not peeking. Last time I did that. He's towards the ground. I bet he's I, I hit him loads. I definitely hit him loads there. <laughs> I'm gonna open the tent. Can you? Is it unlocked? Oh, yeah, he's on con. One dead. Oh, there was two in there. Is there more? Both dead. With the base owners online and at least three of them, we knew we had to be fast. We had a hacksaw so we could break into this tent, Go but that was going to take some time. Seriously? Yep. On the front. Oh, dead, dead. He's dead. Oh, we're in. Ooh. 
Oh, a code lock. And another box of nails. He has a hex K417 and a 338. Oh, guy outside. As soon as I see their feet, I'm gonna wall bang. One hit, I'm pushing out. One, one dead. I can't shoot my gun. Nice, good shit. This day just simply was not getting any worse. And in fact, we were making so much progress that we had so much loot overfilling our loot boxes. It was now finally time to start expanding this base and make it into the most overpowered base in Daisy. Well, to put it simply, we would need a lot of materials and a lot of effort to make this base as strong as possible. And it was going to take a long time before it would be anywhere near its final product. Nonetheless, we got to work on making as many kits as possible to ensure that we made as much progress as we possibly could today. We started off with stage one, and this included the foundations for the base. Right, so if I go down arrow, doing this. This is the uh, foundation for the base, so you'll figure out what this hatch is for at a later date, but uh, I'm sure most of you can already guess. With the foundations of our base now complete, we set our task on completing the outer walls of the exterior shell so that our base would be secure in order to complete the interior. But for us in order to do that, we would need a lot of kits and that required a lot of nails and wood. Nonetheless, we got to work and put our minds to the task. Oh my god, there's a helicopter flying past top. Stage 2 complete. Through sheer determination and a little bit of luck, we had completed stage 2. But there was still a long way to go before this project was completed. So we had to move on to stage 3 and get the second Hello. layer up. <laughs> stage 3 mainly consisted of getting another layer of walls up so that other players could not boost in. And that way we could start focusing on building the space to a point where it was completely secure. Nice. Okay, now we need to build all these. We were making absolutely fantastic progress, but the only problem was we were running quickly out of nails. But nonetheless, we were focused on getting the exterior shell of our base completed by tonight, and so we continued forward. Okay. These floors are all built. Just build these windows. Slowly but surely our base was taking shape and I could slowly see the final product coming into our grasp. We just had to continue building the second layer and getting our grasp on building that final roof so that our base was completely secure. Ok, 
Okay, last wall on this stage of the base. After what felt like a very long time, stage 3 had been completed. But this base had a little bit longer to go, as we still had to get a final roof on this base, and so stage 4 was in the works. Now, to be honest, stage 4 was a little bit more complicated than the other stages. It required some slanted roofs and some slanted walls. And although I had not much experience with these building items, I soon realised that they were not that difficult to make. The base was finally coming together and our exterior shell was almost complete. With a bit more building, our exterior shell would finally be complete and we could start work on the interior, arguably the most important part. Okay, well the roof's done. Just need to uh, patch up this triangle hole and then we're secure. Well, finally, our base, well, at least on the exterior, was complete. It had finally taken shape, and although it might not look like much, the interior was the most important part. After all, we wanted to fool people into thinking that this was an easy to raid base, but little did they know, this would be one of the most overpowered bases in DayZ. Base is looking very nice, we got all this empty space, but uh, this is where all the fun begins. Well, the interior of this base was a little funky to say the least. And so we stepped into stage 5 with that in mind, and got to work creating our first airlocks of this base, so that it was just that little more secure whenever we logged off. One airlock. If you don't realise what's happening already, we were basically creating these tight hallways of doorways. And that way we could cram a bunch more doors into our limited space. Therefore, creating the illusion that this space was easier to raid than it actually okay. was. But you will soon realise that this space was full of these tiny hallways. this narrow passageway so that if any raiders are coming in it's very hard for them to um, sort of maneuver around and we have this window to peek them if they're in this border trying to come and see for in this door but we still have a long way to go indeed we had a long way to go but I had a vision of mine and next of all I got to work on our secret bunker this would require a lot of skilled placement of small floors in order to create that small illusion that nothing really was going on underneath the floors. In order to do this though, I had to place a lot of small floors, and that would allow me to create this gap that would allow me to create a staircase down below where we would have our secret escape from our base. This one needs to go that way. After working on concealing our secret bunker, we got a little distracted because moments later after placing these final floors, we got a notification of a king of the hill at the northwest airfield. I mean, I can snipe if you want me to sit back and snipe or I can push if you want me to push. I don't see it. Oh, I see it. Zombie aggro. It's in the trees. You can't even snipe it. Okay, so... Guy in there. Guy on the airdrop. Guy on the airdrop? Oh yeah, there's two then. There's two. There's, he had a raid bag, he just pushed left. Although, I, I think it's looted, because um, he like was there for a half second. Oh, one guy just died. I just watched a guy die. Wait, what? Where's the zombie at? Are you shooting? I was shooting, but the guy just killed two guys. I just watched a guy kill two guys. The guy with the raid bag. He's on the body. 
Yeah. He's dead, he's dead. Is he dead? Yeah, yeah. Checking the airdrop first. Alright, I'll check this body. Uh, a couple of guns in the airdrop. Um, RSS, nothing interesting. Someone's definitely looted it though, because there's missing Back slots. Oh, Although there was nothing super special on this airdrop, we could put the extra gear towards another cell run, and so we returned to base with that in mind, to complete as much as we could with the nails we had. Let's build, shall we? There was still a lot of progress needed before this base was finally done. And that meant laying out a lot of blueprints, and although we may not be able to build all these blueprints for the nails we had, it would give us an idea of what we did actually need. Although it was midday whenever we returned to base, it soon turned to night time. But this didn't stop us, and we continued building throughout the night, but I'll skip through the most of it because it was kinda hard to understand what was going on. And after what felt like an eternity, it soon turned back to morning. Let's see. So. God, it took so long to do this, but we've got all the blueprints placed now, at least. Although it might look like a mess right now, this group of blueprints would soon turn into a solid structure. Well, a solid structure soon enough, because with the final nail in the coffin, we had ran out of nails. Which meant there was still a bunch more to go, but at this point we were still about halfway through. With that said though, it was getting late, and so we logged off. When we logged on on day 3, we set our minds on further renovations, and we immediately set out to the trader in order to do a massive sell run to buy more nails. Okay, sellables. 23. I have this gun, but I don't know if it's gonna sell it. We have. Um, oh, mate, 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 mate. Uh, want to uh, sell me uh, your helmet? No. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Thanks, man. Bye. <laughs> he sounded so sad. <laughs> um, he was so disappointed. Yeah, so I got 78k, we have 2k in the base, so we got 80k, so we got 8 boxes of nails. I think that will be enough. With what I hope to be enough nails to finish our base, we returned. But we were soon greeted by an unexpected invitation to the Northwest Airfield, as there was a king of the hill, and we wanted to compete for this. That made me jump, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I don't see anyone in the top window, so I think they have to be on that bottom floor. Okay, it's been capped. Now push up the walls. Hopefully I don't get picked. Push it in here to the right. Okay, let's go. I'm going. Oh, it's already been picked up. Dead, dead, dead. Let's get control of this. Go close doors, I'm just gonna pick what I can. Another one, another one! Yeah, yeah, he's on the other side of this door. Dead, dead, dead. He's full dead. Cold, cold PKM. A Lynx? Level 3 armor? This guy has so much, we have to we have to loot and dip immediately. This guy is loaded. Oh, his backpack! He has a chai tag! Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Was this empty? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. 
Home sweet home. After a huge run, our morals were at an all time high. We even managed to find one of the best guns on the server, but we weren't finished yet. Our next task was heading to the black market trader in order to buy some more nails. Okay, let's go. With the nails acquired that we needed to finish our base, we immediately got to work. Once again, we started working throughout the night, but our base was soon taking shape and getting closer and closer to that final product. Alright, we got this little... Oh, this is so cool. By the end of the night, our entire base was complete, except one thing. We still had to build up the final airlocks but that would have to come tomorrow. Okay. Once again, we were not raided, and I headed out in that day to only be greeted with another King of the Hill. I met back up with Hawk and headed over towards the Northwest Airfield where this was all going down. I haven't heard any shots in a while. It's gonna be capped any second. I think I might push that into that Livonia tower. Oh, suppress shot. I don't it's been capped, it's been capped. Nah. Oh, that was so perfectly timed. Oh, there's a guy in the back. I see a guy in the back? Oh, right, guy on the crate right now. Pushing in, two guys, three guys. Yeah, there's a guy on the hill on the back side. So... Wait. I'm dead. I just got one tut. This was my very first death. And in fact, up to this point, I had 18 kills and zero deaths. I woke back up on the coast and thought about what I could do next. And whenever we were heading back inland, it wasn't long before we got another message of something we wanted to get involved in. A server-wide event, and if our calculations were correct, the group that had just killed us would probably push this too. The guy out mind. Yeah, I'm not suppressed. Dead. Oh shit. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, that's it. We need to shoot all those landmines. Oh, there's one more charge. Is it beeping now? No. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Oh, your hit, that's yeah, from your I'm right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Run. I'm trying. Jump yeah. if you need to. Okay. Guy in the big hanger, big hanger, big hanger. He sees me. Big, big hanger. Yeah. He's hit me. Game's frozen and I'm dead from behind, man. An unfortunate circumstance. And I still had a bag timer. This was not exactly ideal. I set off once again back to the base to grab another gear set and immediately headed back to the airfield. I wasn't going to give up this easy. Well, the door on the shed, two doors on the shed is gone. Oh yeah, they just smoked the front with gas. Guy out. Oh, they just drove in the car! Oh no! Someone had beaten us to the prize. Running back after all that time had given them enough time to get inside and steal everything. But there was still this one guy left, and no matter what I did, oh, I, just, I just couldn't hit him. We decided to follow him, but eventually lost him. Until. Oh. oh. That'll be enough. Yeah. yeah. We keep WP, we'll catch him and then open the field somewhere. Oh, big be a spy born industrial. Holy crap, that's huge. Oh, that's probably them. So. Oh, yeah, dead zombie on our left. He would have shot that. That is a. That is, the, that is massive. They're all, we're only like five days in the white. 
Yeah, what the hell? Look at the size of this, though. My god. Maybe not, actually. Huge. This base was in the exact direction of where the guy and the car drove towards, so we decided we would check it out, and sure enough, it revealed exactly what we were looking for. Oh, oh yeah, it was them. The car's here. This is the car I saw. It opened? No, it's locked. He's in there, coughing. We got a Vega log pick up base by any chance? No. We're climbing this ladder, they're going to the roof. Hit him once, not dead. This base is humongous though. Yo guys, are you in there? Hello, I'm trying to figure out who you are. I'm trying to figure out who you are. Doesn't matter who we are. Is it Harold? Is your name Harold? Yeah, wait. Oh, nice. It's Itty Bitty. <laughs> I, 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 I seen you guys get away with the car. After talking to these guys for quite some time and discussing how this server worked as we were new and these guys seemed experienced, we decided to part ways. But they had other ideas. You guys have fun, right? Ciao. Oh, chill. Okay, let's go in your hub. <laughs> these guys had betrayed our trust. And it's people like these that I despise the most. Sitting on the roof, preying on those more vulnerable than them. I managed to escape Harold's grasp, but I would not forget this, and this would not be the last time that I visit Harold's base. But with this being one of the biggest bases I have seen in a long time, and Harold's base definitely being one of the most well established on the server, I knew I was in for the long haul. In the meantime, I had to return to base and focus on completing the final stages. base was finally complete, and we had come a long way from where we started. Well, here we are on day 5. 5 out of 7 to be exact, and we started it off like many other days, and headed straight to the trader to make more money. We were gonna need some storage for all the extra items we had, but we also wanted to buy one item as we had a few items that we wanted to grow inside our base. Oh, are they ready? I think they're ready to be harvested. Oh, shot, really? Where are they? Yeah. Or do they need to grow one more? Maybe they need to grow one more. Oh wait, no, I had a harvest point. Oh yeah, gather Stardog. Well, we continued on for the next hour or so, growing up our plants and turning them into bricks. These bricks could then be taken to the black market trader and sold for quite a substantial amount of money. And to our surprise, these seeds really didn't take long to grow, but I suppose it helped that we had fertilizer and by the end of it, we had three bricks that we could sell at the bandit camp. We just had to make sure that it was clear, and then we could head in to see how much money this would really make us. Stardog says for 10k. Gnome, or the tier 1 says for 15. And the Nomad says for 15 as well. Let's 
cool. Go! Oh, wow. there, there, there. That's basically all we did on day 5, but on day 6, we got into a crap ton of PvP. Oh. Oh. I'm hit, I'm hit! He's in this bushes. Okay. He's dead. He's dead. Okay. Oh, you have a kill. Yeah. Two guys, two guys, two guys. Nice one there, good. Another one for the back, red shorts. Might be dead. And when we weren't PvPing, we decided to push some airdrops to see if we could build up any high tier gear. Within our base. Going, I'm looting, I'm looting, I'm looting. But like all things, with massive success, there must always be somewhat of a downfall. Dead. I'm oh, fucking I'm dead. By the time I got to the end of day six, I soon realized that I was forgetting about the main objective. I needed to focus on Harold's base. After all, this guy had betrayed our trust and shot Hawk in the back. As you already know, we couldn't let this slide. But there was a slight issue. Harold's base was way too big for us to online raid, so we had to think of another way to piss this guy off and hopefully bait him into online raiding our base so that we could really test how overpowered it was. I, I see one running back to their base. He just ran into their, their compound. Let's push down. Let's door camp them for a bit. That'll piss them off. What was that? The Anzio, dude. Oh my god, it's so loud. I know. You just killed good know? again from a thousand meters away. Uh, Wait, I see an open window. Is it going to be in that left open window, right? I don't know. In case you weren't aware of what was going on, Harold was basically camping inside his roof, killing everyone he could see, and then depoting his loot and then running out as a naked, and that way he wouldn't lose anything. Oh yeah, on the road, on the road, T-Junction. However, what Harold failed to realize was that he was leaving his base unoccupied, and that allowed us to set up the perfect ambush. Oh, I hear footsteps. Yeah? Ready to go? Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, it was, it was him. Revenge is always sweeter whenever it comes back in your favour. But we weren't finished with Harold yet. In fact, we would soon be back. Heli, Heli. Landing at their base, maybe? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, they've got side doors open. Oh, oh, they've just shut the doors. It seemed like Harald was also making a lot of progress, and they were still killing more vulnerable players from the rooftop. No matter how long we sat around here, Harald was always in this roof. But this time, he wasn't leaving. So we had to come up with another idea, and that's when it clicked with me. Remember that event from earlier? Well, if we set up an event on a raid on our base, then maybe we could be at Harold's group to come over, and then we would have the ultimate revenge. Guess it's uh, started. Just like we had planned, we allowed the admin to set up C4 on all of our doors, and soon enough loads of players came over and started attacking. They're fighting each other? Yeah, they will do. It's just the two of us. <laughs> we'll make it if we try. <laughs> this is probably this is like the best spot. <laughs> they can't do anything. You can lie prone here and everything. <laughs> Woo! Oh, man. oh my god. Oh, I 
Did you see a guy? He's dead. Killed one. This guy across the field. Am I killed one? Yeah, just killed one, just killed one. Guys outside. The wall banging. Oh, oh shoot. I was not paying attention. It's the same guys, they're back again. I see his teammate. Dead. He's dead. He killed him? Yeah, yeah, he's dead. I'm dead. Killed another, I think. Yep, he's is dead. However, whilst I was fighting these guys outside the windows, that gave enough time for another group to sneak up and start the C4. Yep, oh my god, yeah. Bye. Everything so far was going so well, but what made it even better was a familiar voice. Oh, I can't get through this door, lad. There's a bad thing we Once they blow through this door, I think they get to the, the peaks. Yeah. <laughs> that was jarred. That is the nastiest angle. I'm not gonna use that. That's too OP. That's so OP. In case you haven't realized already, this was Harold's group who were making the most progress on the raid on our base. But Harold's wasn't here, so I couldn't get the revenge I wanted on him, but maybe I could leave an imprint on his group. Are you opening doors? No. Um. Hello? Again. <gasps> He's back. <laughs> Yo bro, we're not gonna we're not gonna use the peaks on you. They're a little too overpowered. <laughs> uh, they are indeed. It's virtually impossible. Oh shit! Here we go, Hog. Run. We decided to let these guys get past the initial peaks, as to be fair, they were too OP, but also because I wanted to test out the other stuff. What the fuck is this place? What, oh, dude? I made the most overpowered base in DayZ. You'll see. How many is left to kill? There's only two of us, bro, this entire time. <laughs> They're like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is gonna blow. Did I kill one? Oh my god, that's so disgusting! I just wall banged them. With Jared and the rest of Harold's group making so much progress throughout our base, I was getting impatient, and I made a mistake. Ah, uh, we traded. This was not exactly ideal, because it now meant I had a bag timer, and that meant I had one life left. Jared and his group continued making crazy progress through the base, and, well, this is how it all ended. This is it. Once they get close, Hog, we make our move and we go out. Careful, the boat does. Because if I had something to jump on right here, maybe uh, it would be better. Uh, I can crouch, yeah. Only problem is, if he sees you on top of me, he's gonna wall bang us both, you know? Alright, yeah, 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 no worries. Alright, get ready, because he's gonna come here next, I think. Yeah, he is, he is, he's below us right now. He's dead. Nice! <laughs> Oh! Oh, 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 oh. There's more. We have for it. Did I get anyone? Did I chuck a nade down there. Wait, where are you at? Where are you at? <gasps> Run! <laughs> 
Oh, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm chilling. One dead. Easy skill. I'm not gonna hold that anymore because he knows. Oh, you're you're low, you're low. Yeah, you killed one. I think there's another one on our balcony. Don't peek the windows, Hawk. There's another one on our balcony. Yeah, he is. He's on the left side, left side, left side. On the right side, then. You're dead? Yeah. I don't know where he's at. Soon enough time was running out and Jared's friends had returned and they had secured the outside of the base. They were going to secure this base and it was only a matter of time. Ooh. He's right above us. I hope he's pushing it. Remember. Our bunker was underneath the floors, and our main loot room was at the very top of the building. Meaning if we weren't really in this building, chances were they would never find this bunker, and that's why we kept our best loot down here. Don't tell you bring these boxes, I've you to crawl in that. Uh, no, I'm not buying any boxes, I'm uh, just chilling. He has no idea where we're at, this is crazy. I told you, I told you, Jared. This base is full of surprises. Oh, where are you, man? Don't tell me you are really so, so stupid. <laughs> I can't believe this is working that well. He's like, don't, don't, don't tell me you're under the floor or something stupid. <laughs> yeah. I just tapped in and heard something. Don't worry, Jared. You'll piece it together eventually. Oh shit. Oh shit, what's he blowing up? That door? Oh, it's gonna be the door into our little... The bit that gets you to here. Okay, he's one door away, Hawk. One door. As soon as he figures it out, we gotta get the hell out of here. I think he might be at this door. Okay, Hawk, you ready? There's someone coming in. This is the perfect moment. <laughs> go, go, go! Run! Let's get the hell out of here, though. Bring Heather with us.